Hi you guys, it's Beth here and please forgive me, I sound horrible, but um, I really wanted to get a video out to you guys because it has been way, way too long um, and yeah, I just miss you guys. Um, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who has prayed for me and my family and to anybody who has reached out to me to talk hold on i'll be right back got a cough for a minute um anybody who has reached out to me to talk um to like wish me a happy holiday um to tell me they're thinking about me to give me advice on you know how to get over this and take care of myself and for my family to take care of themselves um I really just appreciate y'all and our friendship and everything so, so much. And I'm so thankful for you guys. And um, I'm going to start crying if I keep talking and babbling on. Because this, like, sickness has just been really, really scary for me. And, like, it has been such a roller coaster. So, yeah. Anyway. I'm here to talk to you guys about wax. I have lost my sense of smell. Um, it's slowly coming back a little bit, but it's very, very muted and um, like everything smells a little bit off to me. Like I constantly smell like food burning for some reason and when nothing is burning and nothing is even like being cooked, it's just like the regular smell of my house. Um, and so I haven't been doing any melting, but, um, I was for the beginning part, um, of like, you know, starting December 14th, cause I think my other one ended like around December 12th or something like that. My last what I melted video. So, um, right now is from what I melted December 14th till now, but I haven't been melting for like. I want to say the past maybe week-ish um, because I just actually probably a little bit over a week now um, so yeah because yeah maybe it was about a week because I think I stopped being able to smell stuff like the day before Christmas Eve or something like that okay give me one minute and then we can talk about this okay um, First off from Destination Wax, I don't have a whole lot to talk about, but um, I'm just going to talk about what I have. Um, Destination Wax Lavender Mint. The notes on this are invigorating herbal mint with a splash of lavender, contains essential oils. This scent is so, so good. Oh my goodness, I can't smell it at all um, in the bag, but when I was melting it, it smelled so, so wonderful and I just love this one. It's one of my absolute favorites. Y'all already know. Um, it's just so good and I highly recommend that one. Um, then L3 Waxy Wanders Up Past Midnight. The notes on this one are pink sugar, peppermint sugar cookie, and brown sugar. This one is just absolutely divine. Um, it smells so good. Bless you, milkshake. Um, it smells so good. Minty bakery goodness and I just absolutely love it um I can't smell it right now but I'm just still trying to smell everything but um I do know this one smells so good and it's a great performer and then also in the bedroom I melted and I have this one going right now because of my sister um she is starting to get her scent back but she did lose her scent and taste as well um this one is Southbound Candle Co. Lavender Marshmallow Cream. The notes are Lavender, Vanilla, and Fluffy Marshmallow Cream. This scent is so good. Um, I think I think Rachel just had this one in her recent pre-order. I don't know if it's still going on or not, but um, I know that this one was like part of her recent pre-order, and this scent is so, so good. Um, it's just like a very sweet lavender scent um which makes sense because it's lavender vanilla and fluffy marshmallow so um obviously it would smell like a sweet lavender scent um <clears throat> then in the bathroom from the melted mousse i did clean air 
and this one the notes are cotton blossom mandarin mist driftwood and musk this is just a really really strong clean scent it smells really good um it's not like my absolute favorite clean scent so i probably wouldn't repurchase it but it is a really really good performer and um it is a good scent i just have to be picky about what i get in terms of like bathroom scents because I just don't go through them fast enough to buy just like any bathroom scent that I want um so I have to be a little bit picky with them then I have two that I can tell you guys about but I actually don't have them here with me I melted them when I was in North Carolina and then I lost my sense of smell like right after melting those two and um Pretty much when we traveled back to Virginia, I was like, you know what, I'm just not even going to worry about taking my wax with me in the car because I need to go back to North Carolina anyways with my mom, um, like in a week. So I was like, okay, I will just get it then. And so there is a bunch of stuff that I just left in North Carolina because like our car, like we all were sick, okay, when we were traveling back home in a four hour car ride and then my dad was driving he was having like double vision and he didn't tell us until we were already on the road and it was just so scary and um you know like just who has symptoms like that you know it's just very weird and um yeah so long story short we just kept a bunch of stuff in North Carolina because we were like, you know, we're having body aches and stuff, and then we're going to be jam-packed in the car. It's just not a good combination. So, I left my wax there. Long story short is to say I left my wax there, and um, that was not the most important thing uh, at that time. And anyways, so the ones I melted that I can tell you guys about, because I also melted two others, but I had already, like, I my scent started to get muted. So, um, I cannot give you guys, like, a full description on these other two, so I'm just not going to talk about them. It was Elf from Super Tarts and Candy Cane Frost, I think is what it's called, from Destination Wax. I'm not going to give you guys my thoughts on those because my scent was already messing up by that point, and so my representation of it that I got from that one time melting it is not accurate representation. So I cannot share my thoughts with you guys on those because I don't want to lead you astray or tell you thoughts that are, you know, not accurate. So, um, but the two that I did melt there that I did get to smell, I'm sorry, this explanation is not making any sense. Um, y'all, like, I don't know about you, but whenever I'm sick, like, I don't even make sense half the time, um, because my brain is just not functioning. I don't know. Anyways, anyways, what I'm trying to say is the two I melted that I could smell there, the first one was Tiffany and the Grinch from Ava's Country Cupboard. That one smelled absolutely delightful. And then the second one that I melted there that I could smell, sorry y'all, that was my water bottle. The second one there that I melted that I could smell was Santa's on Keto, which is like um, a bakery blend from L3. And that one smelled absolutely amazing too. Then after that, everything went south, okay? Okay, um, let me drink some water, and then I have two empties to tell you guys about, and then this video will be done. Okay, I'm hanging in there, y'all. I really want to get this video out to you guys, because I, I just really want to get a video out, and, you know, just end out the year with some videos that will end out the year, you know? <laughs> You know, so, okay, um, I just want to end out the year with some videos that will end out the year. Like, I don't want to be talking about what I melted in 2021 when 2022 is here. So, okay, um, I have these two empties to talk about. This first one is Britta's Creeps, Britta's Creepy Treasures, Creeps, and Berries. I'm sorry, you guys, I need to slow down. This is Tea and Cakes, Blackberry Jam, and Blackberry. This scent was amazing. I actually still have this one in my warmer waiting for me to be able to melt some more because the scent is like still in there I know 
um, it's like this beautiful tea and cakes with like a blackberry marmalade type of scent and it's so good I love it um, it performs like a beast and if you love tea and cakes you need to try this one it is so good and then the last one that I have to talk about after I cough hold on I'm so sorry you guys um, I really hope I can edit all this coughing out because it sounds horrible. I'm so sorry. Um, this is Rose Girls Cake by the Ocean. And I think Jenny, either she already did her restock or she's doing it soon. But I know this scent is included in there. I'm trying to refrain from buying anything from it because I'm supposed to be on a no-buy. Um... But I know this one is available and also Goodnight Moon is available um, for her restock. I honestly don't know if it has happened yet or not. So I'm so sorry if it already has happened because um, probably they both are sold out by now if it has. But um, this scent is really, really good. The one thing about it, though, is that it only lasts for about three to four hours in my warmer, which is like such a bummer because I really like long lasting scents but um that's okay it it smells really really good i wouldn't go out of my way to get it again but if it was available like say if i wasn't on a no buy right now and i needed some more good night moon or something um that like i absolutely love and it happened to be available and it happened to still have like one in stock when i placed my order i definitely would repurchase it but it's not one that i would like see it on a restock list and be like I have to participate in this restock to get cake by the ocean like it's not one of those scents that like I would go out of my way to get but if it happened to be there when I was making a purchase then I would definitely pick it up again because it is a good scent um I just wish it lasted longer and so yeah that's cake by the ocean and that's everything that I have to talk to you guys about um I'm hoping that I can get a video out to you guys tomorrow as well. We shall see um, if that happens or not. Hopefully it will though. And um, today is the 30th <clears throat> of December. So hopefully tomorrow I can get another video out to you guys. Um, and yeah, I have a lot to share with you guys. So I really need to start feeling better so I can film more videos. Okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, I just appreciate you so much. Um, I hope you have a fabulous New Year. Um, I can't believe tomorrow is New Year's Eve. What? Um, that's so crazy. Um, and yeah, so I hope you have a fabulous New Year. And let's keep our fingers crossed that 2022 is filled with some blessings and some good happy things and stuff to turn around and get better so um yeah thank you so much for watching i'm gonna stop rambling now i love you guys so much i hope you have a fabulous new year i hope you get to spend so much time with your loved ones at the end of the day that is what really matters is your memories that you make with the people that you love and care about the most because you don't have every day with them so you need to cherish that time that you have with them and um i know for me that is what i'm going to be doing i'm still going to be sick with my family um for new year's eve but it's going to be you know a good time because we're going to be together and we're all coming out of the other end of this and we're all going to be okay so Thank you guys so much again for your prayers and your positive thoughts. I swear, if I cry, I'm not going to forgive myself. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much. I love you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you next time, hopefully tomorrow. And as always, make sure you stay positive till then. Bye.